Tarur is saying is that it's important for progress. Take, for example, any survey around the world. What do people really, what do people know about India? Two things, Mahatma Gandhi and the Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is a huge attraction for people from around the world to come. And now it's not in our tourist handbooks anymore. It's been excluded. Now, why, those sort of examples, do you find inclusion and not building walls crucial for India? Taj Mahal is not in the tourism. The U UP government has issued a tourist handbook that doesn't mention the Taj Mahal yeah. because, as you know, their chief minister last month or two months ago made a statement saying Taj Mahal is not Indian culture. They have a particularly bigoted and narrow-minded view now, of what is Now, he's becoming culture. political. I just want to <laughs> <laughs> rescue us all I, from that. <laughs> no, it is… Uh, it doesn't matter who built it, whether you like the people who built it or not. If somebody builds something beautiful, we must have an unprejudiced eye to appreciate it. When uh, Malvika repeatedly said, uh, disabled community, I want you to know, most of the society is disabled in their own ways. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. It's not uh, because you lost a hand or leg you become disabled. People are disabled. They tend to disable themselves in so many ways. So, uh, definitely, Taj Mahal is a, you know, a beautiful gem in anybody's eye. You cannot exclude that from India. At the same time, I also don't believe that you must say this is the only thing in India. If you come to India, Taj Mahal is the only place to see. No, it's a not. very narrow way of doing things. I think that's what has been done for a long time. And uh, it's time to change that by projecting everything else. There's so many but other… But definitely you can't remove uh, a beautiful but gem. There's like so many other beautiful Mahal. things, we shouldn't look at who built them, just that they yes. are beautiful right now. Especially if somebody whom you don't like built something beautiful for you, you must enjoy it even more. <laughs> <laughs> but I worry a bit about you saying people you don't like. Huh? Is that… No, I'm saying if you don't like somebody and they build something beautiful for you, but are you talking isn't about a there a double joy? <laughs> <laughs> but when you talk, say somebody you don't like, you're not talking about a community. No, no, I'm, talking about I'm an not individual. Say, I'm saying yeah. if… if uh, I mean, I did not know that Taj Mahal is pulled out of the tourism thing. I, I really did not know that. I'm saying the only reason why you may do such a thing is because you don't like someone who built it. Because there is a history of invasion, there is cruelty, there is… there are terrible truths of the past. Uh, Sessi has been… Uh, I have yet to read the book, I have the book, but uh, I've heard him speak here and there about all the things that have been done during the British era, which is very cruel. Absolutely. But if we go to UK now, we don't hate those people. Yes, they have done this to us, we should never forget it. We should never forget it. This has been done to us because this should not be done to us once again. But it does not mean today's generation of English people, we have to hate them. Correct. No, mm -hmm. that's not it. So the yeah, same goes… You could give us the coin would back. That's the least you could <laughs> no, have done. No, that is the… <laughs> that same <laughs> goes for Islamic invasions. They've done terrible things to us. But we don't have to forget it. We should not forget it. Because also, we they never... stayed and became us, Sadhguru. Huh? They stayed and became us. There were some invaders who came and looted and left. But for many of the people, such as the emperor who built the Taj Mahal, they are us, they are part of our soil, assimilated into our culture. See, I want you to know, if there was no World War II, British also would have stayed. So that doesn't mean that happened because of their love for you. No, but Sadhguru, they <laughs> sent everything from here back to England, whereas these people, even whatever they looted, they spent here. No, there no. is a difference. Uh, that is because it's another time when there were no ships. <laughs> <laughs> Technical there were problem, ships. wasn't it? No, no, <laughs> there, yes. were there were ships. There were ships. Transportation <laughs> issues. <laughs> besides, they had a land route back home to the Fergana Valley. They didn't uh, use it. It's not easy to go. But you say whether they did or not, one should not hate them now and should not build walls around see, them now. Is that, what, is that your message? See, what I'm saying is, historically, many ugly things have been done by different people. Quite right. Ugly things that have happened to us as a nation, right. we must remember. Now, ugly things we've done to ourselves also. That also is there, that's another aspect. Right. What others have done to us, mm -hmm. we must remember, but we should not become bitter 
because this bitterness will destroy us. That's Why it. we should remember is so that we don't make the same mistakes and get into the same pit once again. That's very important for of me. Course. But at the same time, if… if today, let's say, UK spoke the same language that it spoke during the colonial era, definitely we will not accept them. Unfortunately, with certain groups of people, they're trying to speak the same language which was historically spoken way back. So this creates a whole lot of confrontation in the society. And uh, this… this entire misuse of this for democratic purposes, uh, when I say democratic purposes because it's all a number game, so people are playing this game for last seventy years. So naturally you have kind of brought this little bit of fear in others. Fear means people are seeing what's happening in Iraq and uh, the Islamic State and stuff, what happened in Kashmir. So people think if these numbers increase, this will happen to us also because it's happened in the past. So I feel if one thing stops, I think this entire little bit of heat going on between communities will die, that is, you don't try to change the dynamics of demographics. Just let it stay this for next hundred years. Without anybody trying to increase numbers, you will see everything will level out. This is the only fear. That's why there is reaction. What religion are you? Hmm? What religion are you? I never identified with myself with any religion as such. Because I we must understand this, religion is a very foreign thing to India. Because when you say you're a… You, if you have to belong to a certain religion, you have to believe something. But this has always been a land of seekers. We never ever believed anything. It doesn't matter even when the so-called divine entities came, when Shiva came, his wife asked a million questions. The Shiva Sutra is full of questioning. And if Krishna comes, uh, this man, his disciple is supposed to be asked thousand questions. Whoever came, no entity, however divine they were considered to be, could give us a commandment, only debate he got because there was no uh, such idea as the God in our minds ever. Right. So there is no belief system, so how can you say there is a religion? So it's great that you're not a God-man and you don't have a religion. I think that's a huge… God bless you actually for that. <laughs> no, this… <laughs> 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 <laughs>